Uh, your, your grace. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait, what time is it again? What time indeed? Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah, uh, my, my apologies, your grace. Jeez, that guy's so nervous he almost forgot to breathe. <gasps> Sorry, forgive my manners. These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons, if you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. really scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here, uh, your grace. <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh? Is something the matter? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Paimon's just worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Time like this. Oh, oh no, you didn't injure yourself, did you? Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siege Wing. Oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Sijuin here is the Fortress of Meripede's head nurse. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. 
thank you. Your presence will be the piece de resistance for today's tour. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Uh, well, this is your first time here. Paimon's not sure what to ask. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? Take it easy. It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Oh, you mean the meals are random? Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey likes to play here in the cafeteria. Paima knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would skyrocket for sure! Excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervy Let just now? Oh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuine. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. Monsieur Nivellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. After this, you two will just be inmates here. 
You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. I got a new letter from an informant. It looks like the situation has changed again. <sighs> Take it easy. The Traveler at Paimon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. Your bunks are right over there. Follow me. <sighs> so this is where we'll be sleeping from now on? Oh, Paimon can't believe this! Oh, the days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. Uh, by the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth investigating just now. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know Nouvellette. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake, but we're actually here to help Nervalette. Hmm... Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? Or is Paimon overthinking things? Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. Maybe something like, Hey, I have my eyes on you, so don't try anything funny! Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nouvellet empty-handed and say, The dude looks scary, so we gave up! Huh. <sighs> And besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nervalette, right? So, we at least need to try. But, Paimon hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. You mean... Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too! Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. We worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and BAM! He's in prison anyway! Right! Lenny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the Knaves, so they could be here to investigate too! Huh? Oh, it's a card! Paimon didn't notice it earlier! Hmm... It looks like a 
magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Let Paimon have a look. It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's written like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Paimon thought he'd write something important. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's get some rest now. Hey, you're finally awake! Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything and then Paimon woke up. Hey, come on! It's just a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really squeal. Maybe. Hey, lazy bones. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Take it easy. Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and... Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking! Yes, sir. Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, take this. Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. So it's the 
machine gets jammed, you just need to attack it to fix the problem. Huh. Once the widget is hot enough to blow, jump to step on the pedal and hit the widget with the hammer. Report back to the foreman and give him the process 